Hello everyone, good day to all. Today, we will discuss some arts, crafts, and architectures of the following countries. Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Tajikistan. Are you ready? Without further ado, let us start. Familiar ba kayo sa mga larawang ito? Very good! Ito ay flag ng Pakistan at itong mga larawang ito ay matatagpuan sa Pakistan. Alam niyo ba kung saan nagmula ang word na Pakistan? The name Pakistan derives from two words. Pak, which is Persian for holy, clean or pure, and istan, derives from the Hindi word istan, which means a place. I will tell you three trivia about Pakistan. First, Pakistan has the world's largest contiguous irrigation system that is according to the United Nations. Did you know the world's first PC virus was created by the two Pakistani brothers? And some of the highest mountains in the world are located in Pakistan. Pakistani architecture is divided into four recognized periods. Ano-ano nga ba yung four recognized periods na yun? Una, pre-Islamic, Islamic, colonial, and post-colonial. Familiar ba kayo sa mga buildings na ito? Or sa mga structure na ito? Around the middle of the 3rd millennium BCE, an advanced urban culture developed for the first time in the region, with large buildings, some of which still survive to this day like Mohenjo-Daro, the Harappa, and the Totdigi, which are among the pre-Islamic settlements that are now tourist attractions. Ang ganda ng disenyo ng track, di ba? Nakakamangha. Across Pakistan, brightly colored flamboyant tracks painted with images of idealized landscapes, famous personalities, flowers and trees, turned village lanes, city streets and long-distance highways into a gallery without walls, a free-form, kaleidoscopic exhibition in motion. Okay, let us move on to Lesson 4, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Tajikistan. Ang gaganda ng disenyo ng mga tela, di ba? People who inhabited the region of present Uzbekistan are known for making printed cloth, printed tablecloths, curtains, bedspreads, shawls, and various coverlets were utilitarian and serve as the daily round ornament as well. Uzbekistan ceramics are the prominent place among the numerous forms of popular applied art. Familiar ba kayo sa mga disenyong ito? Madalas itong makita sa mga clothing, utility tools, yards, and horses saddles were always decorated using nomadic patterns and design. This is the nomadic Patterns and design. The Sextan's visual arts are relatively young. In ancient times, nomads used to draw on rocks, and today, these petroglyphs can be found throughout the Sextan. Fine art in the Sextan varies in style, direction, and genre. The most captivating work by Kazakhstan artists in different periods can be seen in museums across the country.
Tajiks have been making fabrics, utensils, musical instruments, carpets, furniture, jewelry, and many other things for many centuries. The art Oops, sorry. The art of decorative carving is very important for local residents. Carving is mostly present in architectural monuments, household structures and objects, musical instruments, and also on souvenirs. When Islam came, Tajik's carving gradually changed to Arabian inscriptions Using images of people and animals while some carvers prefer vegetative, geometrical patterns in architecture, ornaments in the form of lotus, tulips, and other flowers are more common. Okay, that's all for today. I hope may natutunan kayo. But before we end this, kindly answer this question. What have you learned? On this lesson, kindly type your answer on the comment box below. Thank you and God bless to all.